Lessons. So today is part one, which is my shower favorites. Now obviously I just got out the shower and I thought this was um, fitting to do. So let's go ahead and get started because um, I got a lot to go through. So I'm going to start with hair first and I'm going to dry them off as I show them to you because like I said, I just got out of the shower. So my first favorite oh, that I drop on the floor is... Um, this Pantene um, mask. This is a deep moisturizing mask for powerful repair. I love A, what it does for my hair, and B, the smell. So it looks like this. And this. Oh! It looks like that. Um, I go through hair masks a lot um, due to me having long hair. My hair gets tangly really quickly. So I always need to keep moisture in my hair, and I find that doing a mask does that. Um, so it looks like this. You guys need to check this out. You can get this at Target. I'm pretty sure you can get it at Walmart. I don't know. I don't have a Walmart next to me, so <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know. Amazing. You need the stuff, and it smells so good. Like my hair smells like it. it smells amazing. So I have um, a shampoo and two conditioners that I want to talk about today. The first one is the shampoo. This is the Sleek and Shine Brazilian Smooth uh, Difficult to Straighten Hair. This seals in uh, long lasting silky smoothness and faster fast uh, flat ironing. And it looks like this. This is amazing stuff and it smells really, really good. And it does that because I straighten my hair every day. And, uh, or not every day, I have my hair straight every day. Um, but I don't straighten it every day, you guys, you guys understand? Um, but it looks like this. I'm almost out. It's amazing stuff. So you need this in your life, and I have the conditioner to go with it. Um, I change my conditioner every time I take a shower because I feel like my hair gets used to a certain um, conditioner, and then it doesn't work as well. So if I change it out, um, then my hair doesn't get used to it. So the first one I have is the... The, sh the condition that goes with this, this is the Brazilian Smooth Conditioner. As you can see, I have almost half a bottle um, just so that my hair doesn't get used to it. And it looks like this together. Love these. Um, so, I need to change it up a little bit. And then the last conditioner that I have is a bigger bottle, and I love the way this smells too. I like the way those two smell too. Um, this is the Herbal Essences Color Me Happy um, Conditioner, which is color safe, and it's with Rose Essence, and it looks like this. I actually used it today. Um, this smells amazing. Um, it has a pink, I have no idea if I'll be able to even see this. Oh yeah, it has a pink tint to it, and this makes my hair feel so, I can't even get it back on there. Makes it smell so good my hair is so soft after I use it so it's amazing in my curls when I leave my hair curly that's exactly what they'll look like and it's just amazing okay so the next thing is body wash and I have two um, this month I have been loving my axe anarchy for her I have not been able to find this here in the bay I actually got this on my vacation and I'm just gonna hold it like this because it's wet um, and, and uh, the smell that's new packaging it just it smells amazing so you need this in your life if you're I got this at Walmart yes got this at Walmart in uh, Kansas so I've been loving that this has always been my favorite since it's come out and then I have a Bath and Body um, favorite that my sister gave me um, when I went on my vacation and it smells it's a very unique smell, um, but I love it. My sister says it smells like old people, but this is the Twilight Woods Shea Vitamin E Shower Gel, and I used this today. Um, my skin feels so clean after this. Um, does it describe what it would smell like? 
Okay, it says intoxicating blends of lush berries, sparkling mandarin, soft um, miso mimosa with lasting impressions of apricot nectar and cypress wood. So it looks like this. Amazing. And it smells, I like the smell, but it's, you know, it's unique. So I'm going to go to shaving cream next, and I am so sad. I just ran out of this because I shaved. I shave every time I take a shower, which is probably a little TMI, but whatever. Um, this is the EOS Shaving Cream in Vanilla Bliss. This stuff is amazing. It says, brightens an even skin tone, natural shea butter and vitamin B3 nourishes and softens skin. It does exactly that, and this looks like this. Um, I have used the pomegranate one, and I've used this one, which I have gotten two of these. I've gone through two of these already. Um, I took one to Kansas with me, and then I had to get a new one because I was almost out. So this, and I have the purple one. Her, I back up. They didn't have the vanilla one. This is in jasmine, lavender jasmine, and um, this is an, this is my favorite one. The vanilla bliss is my favorite. I love, and I hate shaving cream. Um, throughout my whole adolescent years, I used soap, <clears throat> and then I would put lotion on because I hated the way shaving cream feels. That doesn't feel like this, or this doesn't feel like that, and I love it. You need this in your life. It's amazing, and it's actually not that expensive. It's like $4 at Target, so you need that in your life. Like, seriously, if you're very sensitive to sh razors like I am, you have very sensitive skin, that will protect your skin. Then I have two face washes. Um, I have very dry skin and so I need certain products to control that. So this is a milder face wash compared to the night the lot the what I'm gonna show you. This is the new blackhead clearing green tea scrub. It clears blackheads and calms redness because I have redness here. Um, this has uh, sal sal salicylic acid in it. And it's sul uh, sulfate-free and paraben-free, which is really good because that's what irritates my skin. And it looks like this. This stuff is amazing. And it's a mild um, scrub, which looks like this. Um, the gentler ones just don't work for my skin. They don't. It doesn't clean it, and it doesn't feel clean. They're moisturized or soft. So I love this stuff. And I do it in the shower because it's a scrub, so it's got texture, and it gets everywhere. So I do it in the shower instead of just on my sink because it'll get into my hair and stuff and it, that's just not cool. So I have this one and then this is when I wear a lot of makeup and I do this twice a week I believe and I just got this and I'm almost, uh, almost halfway done with it um, but I use this twice a week. This is the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub that prevents blemishes and min minimizes pores, which I just used today. And again, it's 100% um, natural and it's sulfate-free, paraben-free, natural exfoliant. This is what it says, and it looks like this. This stuff's amazing. If you look on your face, ooh, face scrubs, it's going to have this detector here. One, it goes from gentle to deep. and um, this is the deep one, and you can tell, um, let me, like, it's a very thick consistency, and it's very coarse, um, so you can't use this every day, because it would really rough up your skin, but I use it twice a week just to keep my skin clear, so I use these, and they're amazing, you, if you have problematic skin and you don't want to, you know, spend an arm and a leg on a uh, face wash, you need this in your life, it's amazing. I know I keep saying that, but it is. This is a moderate, and then this is the deep uh, exfoliant. Moderate and then deep. So you need this in your life. It's amazing. Okay, um, moving right along. Um, the razor that I have been loving, um, I, remember I saw it and I was like, I have to have that. Um, I can't use this on like my upper legs. I have to use an electric razor because I'm so sensitive. But this is the Gillette Pro Glide. I think this is the man version, um, and it looks like this. It's a silver. It's it's very nicely weighted, so you can. Um, I'm doing it on my face, but um, which I don't mean to. But like um, on your legs, it like contours your kneecaps. On your arms, it contours to your arms. Um, anywhere else you shave, I don't know. 
I just shave my legs and my arms. So, um, and it looks like this, and I've got this thing here, and it rotates the blade like this, which is good when it contours to your kneecaps. Um, so it looks like this. And then the blades, they are four blades. No, five blades. And they look like this. They come in this. They are expensive. These are $17 for four blades or $35 for eight blades at my Target. Um, they are a bit pricey, but my skin never has felt so smooth. So amazing. And then I have two more, three, four more products, and then we'll be done. Um, for face, actually, I'm going to skip that for a second. Um, my eye remover, this is the Up and Up. Excuse me, which is compared to the Neutrogena, and this is amazing stuff. I use it to remove my eye makeup, and you need this in your life. It's amazing, and it's like two dollars. And then my toothpaste is the my favorite is the Optic White. I hate paste. I like the gel, but this doesn't seem to bother me. Um, it's sparkling mint, and as you can see, we're almost out. My husband and I both use this. And then for my face, I am the mask of. The month that I have been loving. I do mask once a week, mostly on the weekends, because after all you know you have all week with all the damage and the smog. Because I go out a lot, and this will help replenish it. This is the K Bella Bath and Beauty Replenishing Deep Sea Mud Mask. This is amazing stuff. You can buy it in the single ones, but I thought, well, I go through so much of it that I might as well just buy the two. Um, so I got this, and it looks like this. It's blue, and it dries to, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. So it's a blue, and light blue, and then it dries to a dark blue. This smells amazing, and this actually really helps replenish my skin, because um, I have, like I said, dry skin, especially here where I've had some sun damage, and it's cleared most of that up. It, it's amazing stuff. Amazing. And the last thing is my Pond's Dry Cream. This is a rich hydrating moisturizer. It looks like this. This is in all of my um, skin videos. I love this stuff. I had a little one and I had to get the big one and I'm going to get the bigger one. But I'm going to do a quick demo. As you can see I've been using it like crazy. So what I do is I put one across my forehead, on my cheeks, my chin, and my nose, my eyelids, and my eyebrows because my eyebrows get very dry. Then I put just a little bit on my hands to uh, help Let's get the hair out of the way. And I rub it so I'm not rubbing dry skin. And then I just rub it in and I go under the eyes and I rub up, not down, to prevent wrinkles. I felt exfoliated right my head. This just leaves my skin silky smooth. It's amazing. I love it. So what I do is I let my skin kind of dry a little bit and then I put this on there um, to soak it up. And I use this before I do my makeup because I, if I don't, I'll get dry patches. So, well that was everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy the way I'm gonna be doing this. I just, it would be like a 25 minute video if I didn't split it. Um, so, if, all of this is drugstore, so you can find this at Target, Walmart, CBS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, whatever you have, all drugstore. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and I will be filming part two tomorrow, which is my makeup favorites, or beauty favorites. I feel like I got stuff there. So hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!